Well, guys, it looks like Robin Hood is at it again. Most of you probably remember January 2021 when the buy button was removed, and Robin Hood, along with several other brokers, decided to take a particular series of stocks, including GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, and a handful of other meme tickers, decided to put them into position close only, meaning only closing your positions. You could not buy the stock. The thing is, is that what this ended up doing was it evaporated the bid on the stock and caused it to completely collapse in its value after surging back uh, beyond $400, causing shorts immense pain to a level that we have never before seen since the VW squeeze of 2008. Well, now this time, Robinhood decided to remove the exercise button. So if you were a player in the stock market and you just so happened to get lucky enough to have a put position in Silicon Valley Bank, you may have been thinking to yourself, God, I just hit the jackpot and I managed to time the perfect moment to take a short trade against one of the largest banks in the United States after the stock dropped from $120 to zero in the span of just a couple of weeks. Sadly, even though this stock has now been essentially valued at zero, which was actually corroborated by a statement from the President of the United States, Joe Biden, that Silicon Valley Bank is now no longer in existence. Essentially, its stock has gone to zero, and it is no longer trading. Because of the halt, this prevents you from being able to open contracts and from anybody being able to close existing contracts. But here's the problem. Options contracts are a legal tendered contract. It is a contract that entitles you with the right to exercise your ability to buy or sell shares no matter what, even if the stock is not being actively traded. That's because this contractual obligation is maintained by the broker as a middleman. And even if the exchange is not going to allow you to trade stock between two parties, it will respect your right to exercise your put or call contracts. Here's the thing. Put options are the obligation, are the right for the holder of that contract, a long put holder, it is their right to exercise the ability to sell stock at the strike price. And for many of the traders who had, uh, had those put contracts that week where SVB was trading at these prices, <laughs> well, now they are so far in the money, it is absolutely hilarious. Literally a lottery ticket. However, as you'll read here, Robinhood has decided that there is no ability to exercise these contracts at this time. The thing about put contracts is that you are entitled to the right to sell stock even if you do not hold stock because this allows you to open up a short position. The other side of the trade is obligated to uh, take that from you. And because this is a contractual obligation, you're not required to hold the shares themselves. Many brokers understand this. This is actually universal across the stock market that you can exercise a position even if it would leave you in a short position. But what Robinhood has started telling all of its customers is that, no, your position is actually worthless because you would be required to hold shares in order for you to be able to exercise your put. This is materially false, for one. Here's the actual material from the OCC, which is the options clearinghouse that's in charge of managing options positions uh, and managing the exercise and settlement of options positions. It's clearly stated that the delivery of shares will simply be delayed until a time when it is possible to exercise a settlement. This does not prevent the exercising of contracts, but it does prevent the automatic exercising of contracts. You're able to delay the settlement, but you cannot prevent somebody from manually electing to exercise their contract. If somebody wants to exercise their contract and it leaves them in a net short position, they are permitted to do that, even in a situation where they do, where they do not hold the stock and the stock is not trading, because that is what put contracts, that is what call contracts enable you to do. It is a party-to-party -party private contract. There is nothing in the exchange, uh, there, there is no exchange of shares between the actual exchanges on the bid and ask. Uh, it does not matter if the stock is halted from trading. So if you look at the OCC, it says very clearly the deliverable for SBNY options contracts will remain 100 SBNY shares. If it is not possible for the delivering clearing member to affect delivery of the SBNY shares on the designated settlement date, then the settlement obligations of both delivering and receiving members shall be delayed until such time as the OCC designates a new exercise settlement date. 
settlement method, and or settlement value. This determination allows delivering members the opportunity to effect settlement, i.e. exercise and deliver shares if they have SBNY shares and are able to effect delivery, but delays the settlement obligation when it is not possible. Both the delivering and receiving clearing members are required to immediately notify OCC if they are unable to effect settlement. Regarding the exercising of these contracts specifically, in determining that delivery of SBNY shares is in fact not possible in respect of a given exercise or assignment, the OCC shall require an appropriate officers of, deliver, of the delivering clearing member, that's the broker, to represent in writing that delivery is not possible upon exercise or assignment of SBNY options. OCC will contact SBNY delivering clearing member to provide the specific requirements and procedures for such representation. They are still allowing exercising of options to occur. There is nothing that prevents anybody from being able to exercise their options except the broker. The broker gets to change whatever the hell they want, and that's exactly what Robinhood is doing. And you want to know why? Because they don't actually have the capital to deliver on something like this. The, uh, the complete collapse of, S, uh, of Silicon Valley Bank has caught them off guard, just like the squeeze in GameStop and AMC did back in 2021. And I think that now they believe that they can get away with it because they already did it once when they moved it to position close only and wiped out investors completely. Now they can do it again just by preventing you from exercising your position. Because if you actually had the ability to exercise your, com uh, your contract, then that means that Robinhood would have to post the capital and post it to the clearinghouse in order to make sure that they ensured the delivery of the shares and the cash. But they can't. The amount of money that got washed out of the market because of that was so great, and it's probably because there's so many institutions that were trading those puts, selling those puts, that Robinhood themselves just realize that they can't, that none of their buddies on Wall Street are going to be able to make their delivery on that obligation. So in order to help out their friends, they shut down the exercise button. And once again, retail investors lose. As far as the law is concerned, and as far as the options clearing corporation is concerned, broker to broker settlement is still intact. It may be delayed, but it is still intact. Therefore, the contracts, which are legal tender to the holder of that contract, is entitled to exercise that contract. The fact that Robinhood has simply turned it off is showing the corruption is still present and they are still going to get away with it. We finally got an update on this story on an uh, article from altfi.com. Robinhood traders cry foul over SVB short bets and broker responds. And this, this, this frustrates the hell out of me. I'll just read this to you. Savvy traders have purchased put options on SVB and Signature Bank before both banks collapsed. These put options are bets that the stock will fall, giving traders the opportunity to sell shares above market price and pocket the difference. However, when the market panic set in and the stock prices sank, users said that they were blocked from exercising their put options on the banks, preventing them from earning profits that they were entitled to. Go figure. Disgruntled app users took to Twitter to document their experiences, with one sharing that he became, quote, stuck in an indefinite short position. Others suggested that this injustice wasn't only happening on Robinhood and that it had spilled over to other brokers too, including Fidelity Investments. One trader stated that everyone is taking advantage of their customers here. This trader was apparently stuck in a catch-22 in which there was a 300% margin requirement attached to his trade that he couldn't close and yet could not profit from the trade until he closed it. Traders were at risk of losing their puts at expiry on the 17th of March, at which time the contracts would be worth zilch. Meanwhile, shares of the banks are no longer trading. Now, this is the part that pisses me off. Robinhood CEO Vlad Tenev responded to critics saying in the tweet that we are working to resolve this ASAP. Stay tuned. And the Financial Times has reported that Robinhood has decided to break its own rule and extend the expiry dates on these positions past the March 17th expiry date. The f*** you did, Vlad. You got your f***ing Macked by OCC because they know that you are lying through your teeth and you are obligated to extend delivery of those shares. They have instructions and procedures for this situation, which you as a broker are entitled to. And you should be very familiar with the settlement process because this is not the first time that a stock has gone to zero 
and a company has stopped trading on the market entirely, people that are short on those still get entitled to receive their money. And just because it does not benefit you directly and in fact hurts you because you have to post additional liquidity that you are not sure that you'll be able to recover does not entitle you to hold people's money hostage and to prevent them from being able to capitalize on their good, profitable bets. Vlad Tenev is not breaking his own rule from the goodness of his heart and telling everybody that uh, we're going to ensure that at our personal cost that you will be entitled to receive your money and exercise your contracts. We will make it so that you will be made whole out of the goodness of our heart. Bull I wish I could glue a cactus to my foot and drive it so far up Vlad Tenev's ass that he'd be spitting out needles for a month. This dude is so full of shit, lying through his teeth, telling people that we're going to break our own rule just so that you're made whole. Bullshit. Anybody who's still using Robinhood at this point, why, why, why are you still using Robinhood? There is no reason to be going with such a dog broker at this point. It should absolutely scare the out of you and cause everybody who is still trading on Robinhood to run for the god hills at this point. There is no reason to stay with this broker. They are absolute garbage. They will look for any opportunity to screw their customers in order to make a buck. That's because they are taking dollars, they are taking side bets, and they are taking hush money from all of the other clearing firms and the other houses, the other brokers, in order to make sure that retail investors are getting screwed at every available opportunity in order to keep all of their buddies at the top of Wall Street solvent and to keep them cash rich, make sure that they never lose on their horribly losing bets. If you did not get the opportunity to exercise your puts that you had on either a signature bank or a Silicon Valley bank position, I want to know about it. I want to hear everybody's story and I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know if you were able to actually be made whole. Did you actually receive your money? Were you able to exercise your contract? Are you entitled to that money? I want to know your story. If you guys wouldn't mind, please share it with me in the comments below or send me a tweet on Twitter. I absolutely want to hear about it. Every single time there's been a big controversy that had to do with retail investors getting fleeced in the stock market, Robinhood has always been at the top of the list of culpable entities. It is not a coincidence that this brokerage in particular is involved in literally every single scam that has hit retail since the game stopped squeeze. These dudes are not interested in making the market more equitable. They are not interested in making it more accessible to you. They are interested in grabbing your cash. That is all they want. They want to be able to sell your trades to the market makers that are profiting the most and front run the hell out of you. Whenever things go against them, because we happen to be a little bit smarter than they are, much to their surprise, they just shut the trade down. Their business is so predatory, they are not interested in letting you win in any trades. They're not interested in seeing you make money. They're in it for themselves and they're in it for their friends on Wall Street. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next one and hopefully it's on better news. But until then, have a hell of a time in the markets. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content and you found this information helpful to you in your own trading strategies, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and helps us reach out to others who need this information too. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And if you're not a member of Hell's Trading Floor already, consider joining our Discord by joining us at hellstradingfloor.com, which will allow you to sign up for our Discord at discord.gg slash hellstradingfloor. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, have a hell of a time in the markets. Thank <laughs> you.